didn't look like, with the exception of a couple balls, Mahal got hit all that hard. It seemed like he had some good rhythm at times. What did you see out of him tonight? Billy, I saw the same thing you did. I mean, you know, the ball might have been up more than usual, but battling, changing speeds, um, he didn't get squared up. They're swinging the bats hot. Balls found holes. Um, they capitalized on every opportunity to score some runs. You know, he gave us the link we were looking for, uh, even though we were underneath. Um, he threw everything he had out there tonight. It ended up a lot worse than probably the reality of how he pitched. The numbers uh, looked that way. Anything specifically about Resop that has contributed to his problems recently? Well, you know, I, I'm just looking at the dugout right now, and obviously, again, it goes back to location. He was coming off two days down. Uh, trying to get his feet underneath him, and uh, you're looking for you know, velocity, you're looking for crispness, and you know, we've had some guys that, uh, for whatever reason, when they've had some time down, haven't come back as sharp as you kind of hope they would tonight. I mean, we were just looking for one out to get to him and figure out another way to get it done, and uh, he wasn't able to, to close that inning, and basically, you know, it was the command, getting behind counts, and then having to come in, and there wasn't any quality pitches when he was behind counts. Now that Brad is here, how do you anticipate using him in the near future? Well, you know, tonight we had him in case something happened early where he could come in and throw 100 pitches. Once we got to the seventh inning, I felt we could piece it together efficiently and not wear anybody down anymore. Uh, he's our long man tomorrow. You know, Kevin, we're looking for Kevin to step up and throw a good game at home. If, uh, if something happens, you know, otherwise we've got a guy, a legitimate long guy back in place now that's, that's well rested that can go out and throw. Uh, his pitch count's pretty high. He can go throw 100 pitches if we need him to, so that's how we're looking at him initially. And all season, one of your favorite expressions has been wash it off, you know, after wins, after losses, no matter what. Is it kind of human nature that it's harder to wash off uh, when things are going bad than it is when they're going good? Is that kind of where it's at right now? Yeah, more so. Yeah, he's more so. So you got to get it off. I mean, uh, the beauty of this game, too, is when you do good, you don't go up. You stay here till you, till you don't do good, and you figure out how to do good again. And that's where we are right now. You know, these are the same guys that we're lighting some things up, and people we're cheering for, and writing some good, good stories about. Right now, we're battling all over the place. You know, it seems it gets real hard for somebody different every night, um, where there's some adversity that comes into play. And so we're all in it together. We just got to keep covering one another and and keep fighting through it. I mean, I'm going to keep saying it because that's the way I was brought up. That's the way I'm made. And that's the way I'm wired. There's no. You know, there's no backing away from the flame. You just got to keep after. You just write this off as a bad night for Sedanio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're gonna. Uh, I think some things that we can we can talk about. You know, that we'll talk about with Ronnie internally. I mean, we got the fastest runner in the league, and there was a couple steps extra taken where you, he knows he's got to unload the ball. Um, the high chopper up the middle. Um, if he gloves it, maybe there's a play. Maybe there's not. He just didn't get down in there with the other ball. You know, we've already talked about it from that standpoint. But we're gonna we'll look at the tape as we do after action plays and show them the tape and get a better feel for what they were thinking, how they went about it. But no, it wasn't a good game. Every every everybody I said there's a couple guys every night that have run in some some challenges and had some bad games. You know, we had a few different guys last night. Tonight we had a few more guys. In your experience, is there anything that you or possibly Ray can say to the bullpen that's not a mechanical thing or a and a how to attack a hitter thing that's more of an idealistic thing that can help them as a group snap out of this? It hasn't worked yet. It will, but it has not worked yet, and things have been said. Yeah. Thanks, Clint. You're welcome.